so today I'm going to be filming another one of my first impressions video. You know I really love doing these and this product that I'm going to try out or test today is a product that I've been wanting for such a long time, actually ever since it got out. And it is from Chanel, it is the Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation. This is such an exciting product. So first of all, some basic info before I actually try this bad boy. Um, this is with SPF 15 in it, which is really, really great. That means that it's good as an everyday foundation. It comes in a 30 milliliters bottle, as you can see. It's not the biggest packaging, but um, I think it's kind of like the standard size of a high-end um, foundation. Just by looking at its exterior, I think it's pretty much similar to the um, Vice Lumiere Aqua from Chanel. They're both in the same packaging and same plastic container. The only um, difference is that this one is totally black, whereas this has got this um, beige colour. And I would say if you're going for a really high-end, uh, expensive looking um, foundation, then this is not really the greatest packaging. But I would say I actually really love and actually prefer this kind of packaging because that means that I can travel with it because it literally weighs nothing. This foundation comes in six different shades, or at least that's what I figured out. Um, and I would say about the shade range that it is quite limited. Um, all of the shades are quite fair. And actually when I um, was going to get this one, I was between two shades um, and that was kind of weird. I was between a shade 10 and a shade 20 and I got it in the 20. Um, but it was so weird because I could actually use both the 10 and the 20 because they were both so fair. Um, so that was really weird. And I ended up going for the 20 instead of the 10 because I thought, okay, it's, we're moving into summer and I want to be able to use it all through summer. I would just say as a disclaimer to all of you guys, you know, if you're really dark skin or you're really, really tanned, this might not be a really great foundation for you because the shade range is so limited. I mean, if you're really, really dark, I don't think you can find the right shade for you. However, this foundation is supposed to be really, really lightweight and supposed to give that velvet mattifying finish, which is kind of like the total difference from the Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua. This is supposed to give a lot of radiance to look, whereas this is supposed to be more mattifying. And I think that is what makes this one a bit I don't know, interesting in my mind. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be really, really good for people with normal to combinated um, oily skin. Not that I've got like really oily skin, but I've got normal to slightly oily skin because I've got an oily T-zone during summer. So I thought this was going to be a really great foundation for me and I'm really excited to try it. I'll just get this one on and see how I like it. Firstly, it says in the back that you're supposed to shake this one before you use it. So I'm gonna do that. That must be enough. And let's just see the actual consistency. It comes with this kind of like an applicator, as you can see, so that's fine. Okay, and there is the actual product. I do see that it's very, very lightweight. It's not running now because I've mixed the product so nicely. But I can see that it is very, very lightweight. Um, I can also feel it. So I think I'm going to divide my face into two halves. This half, I'm going to apply the foundation with my buffing brush from Real Techniques. And the other half, I'm just going to apply the foundation with my fingers. So we'll see how the foundation likes to be applied. So, firstly, I'm just dotting it on and blending it in. foundation where I used my um, buffing brush and now I'm going to cover the rest of my face um, with foundation just by using my fingers.
I mean, I really like it and I'm glad that I went for the 20. Um, it is a bit dark on me right now, but I mean, in some weeks it's going to be the perfect match for my skin. It is yellow tone, so that's really, really good for me. And yeah, I really love the feeling of it. It feels so lightweight and actually when it gets on, it feels so velvety and nice and... Yeah, it just sets really nicely on the skin. I really like that feeling. The texture of this foundation kind of like reminds me of the Vice Lumia Aqua one as well. So they are actually really, really similar to each other. The only thing that really splits them apart is that this one is much more radiant, whereas this is much more mattifying. And I do get that it is not as radiant um, as the Vice Lumia Aqua one. But they're both very, very watery in the texture, so it's kind of weird that this isn't called Aqua 2. Um, so yeah, they're very, very similar, and the huge difference is definitely the finish. Another thing about this foundation is that it's got a really lovely scent. You can definitely smell the kind of like fruity scent. I, I, can't, I don't really know the exact fruit but it is definitely a fruity scent. I really love the scent of this foundation. It is so nice, it's fruity, fresh, and just really refreshing. I mean, my face smells like, mm, it smells so good, and I could just eat this one because it smells like fruits and yeah, just summer actually. Um, however, I would say that because it's perfumed, it is a bit of a downside as well to those of you who um, are intolerant, or if you just want a perfume free foundation, then this is not the one for you. This is definitely a light coverage. I mean, it doesn't cover up my minor spots or redness or anything like that, but it leaves a very matte um, finish on your skin and it looks really, really lovely. I mean, to me, it's a very natural finish, which I prefer totally. I mean, if I want to cover up any redness or spots, then I probably would use a concealer instead of a really high coverage foundation. I would say that it's slightly buildable. I mean, you could probably build up to medium or a light medium coverage, but obviously you shouldn't put on layers and layers and layers of this one because you'll just end up looking cakey and weird. All in all, I would say these two are really, really similar um, in texture and bottle and yeah, just a lot of things. As I said, the big difference is the finish, radiance, matte. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I've never really liked this Chanel Vitamin Mia Aqua. I think it's because I've got it in the totally wrong shade. I've got this foundation in the shade BR20 Beige Rose, and to me this is way too pink tone for me. I've never really liked it on me, and that's probably because of... Um, of the colour, it is just the totally wrong shade for me. At the moment, I would actually prefer this one above this one. Um, I don't know if I would prefer this one if I had the right shade. I mean, they are pretty similar. All in all, I'm really satisfied with this one and I'm going to use this a lot, especially on those days where I just want to go to the beach and have a really nice natural look. Um, I like it very, very much and I definitely recommend you guys to go try it. It is very expensive, but it is definitely worth all of the money. Love the smell, love the packaging, love the actual product. Really, really good and huge thumbs up from me. So that was my first impressions video on my new Chanel foundation. And as I said, I really liked it and I definitely recommend it. But now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and you're of course very welcome to watch and see what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to fast forward with the video now so it's not going to be too long. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found my first impressions video helpful. Let's just hop into the rest of the makeup. 